Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And if you can drop a like and a comment, it does make a huge video to the videos getting pushed out to more people. It does help support the channel, so please do go ahead and do that. And I will comment back, as I always do. Make sure you check the streams out as well. We've got a cash pot giveaway every single month now. The link is down below. If you want to come over and help the community win money um, and then get a chance to enter for yourself, make sure you check it out. And finally, check out Foot Trading. It is our trading website. We teach you guys how to make millions. The buying and selling prices for every single card on this game, as well as areas for grinding, areas for custom tactics, loads of exclusive content for you guys. It's incredible. And it helps with things like this video right now, because all the information from this video goes on to the website um, in great detail, written guides by me and Dan. Um, but... EA dropped a uh, Evo yesterday, an absolutely ridiculous evolution. Um, it is called, uh, can't remember the name right now. Fast forward, okay. It basically gets bronze cards up to ridiculous stats and makes them incredibly usable, high-rated gold cards. Okay, um, there's a load of very expensive cards because of this. Now, in amongst this whole amount that EA have dropped of evolutions, there are so many cards that are now valuable, that are bronze. It is absolutely ridiculous how much value there is in bronze packs right now, okay? And it's why there's always a value in opening up bronze packs just as a standard and leaving your club full. The reason I say this is one of the guys in our Discord, when that fast forward dropped, he had four of the cards that basically went extinct in the rush. He sold them just below, never sell them full price, whatever you do, because you run the risk of being banned by EA. He sold them just below, so a normal round of BPM is 30 to 40k, He's made that from four cards, okay? So everything else he's got is free. Massive profit there, okay? I've just been doing some bonds pack method. Um, and as you can see, we've done really, really well. Uh, we've got some few really good cards. Like this Marvel, for example. I'm going to bring him up on my screen for you. He's not even in the fast forward. He is won via Patrick Who, Like a Rock, and then Growth Spurt. And it makes him a really fantastic card. A really good, like, decent... I mean, an 82-rated card with those stats. It's very, very solid. People love these evolutions. He's expensive just because of this. He's not even expensive because of fast forward. Um, and other random bits and bobs have sold. We've got a French manager in there. We've got a Brazilian manager in there. We've got loads of other bits and bobs that are still selling as well. Um, but there is so much selling right now. And I wanted to show you guys this as I hit it. Uh, because as you can see, first owner tradable. This is Kwanzaa. He's one of the most expensive cards from this uh, new evolution. I'm going to go and check what he actually sells for. Um, so I can list them up, but again, always don't sell for the max price, always sell just a little bit underneath that, because EA have a habit of um, banning people when they do that, so he's what, 8-2 there, probably down at 6 with my guess, somewhere around that, yeah, about 6k, give or take. So we get 6,000 coins for him alone, that means my next basically 14 odd packs, so bronze packs, are completely free. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to open them up. I'm going to open them up and I'm still going to sell what I get. Um, but 6,000 coins for a centre-back is very, very solid indeed. I don't even know if he fits into fast forward. I do just want to check that. I think he might be in fast forward, but he might not because of that physical. It might be something different that he's for. Evolutions. Yeah, he's the same thing as Marvel. Um, growth Spurt, Like a Rock. And then, no, Patrick Who, Like a Rock, Growth Spurt. That's what he's for. Um, he's not in fast forward. So he's just expensive because of that. So when it comes to bronze packs, you guys always ask the same question. How do you make coins from them? You have two choices, really. Um, you can choose to just open them up and leave them in your club. So if you're someone like me, you've got a decent amount of coins, you can genuinely just open up as you go and just basically leave cards in your club. That's sometimes the better way to do things. Um, I probably have done this a little bit in terms of by accident. I've not had time to put these cards up, basically, because I've been so busy. Um, let's go for 100 coins on me, we should sell for that. I've been so busy with like life at the moment that I've not had a chance to convert cards, so I've got a lot of stuff in my club already. Um, but you guys can choose to essentially leave them in your club. You can choose to sell as you go, which is what I'm doing today because I'm trying to keep my club relatively free of stuff. But all these cards that don't sell, um, all I do is send these to club, okay? I just leave them in my club for now and I'll either use them in SBCs, I'll even put them into upgrades. Now, if you're brand new to league uh, to BPM, sell everything, okay? So all these badges, they're not worth anything technically, um, but you will get 200 coins for all of them bit by bit. The contracts you can list up for 200 coins at the same time. But the most important thing with BPM at the moment is check the value of every single card. So that Real Madrid Marvel, I just was like, oh, I'll have a little look at him. 
I knew he didn't fit the requirements, but I was like, you never know, he might be another requirement. Lo and behold, he was. Um, he fit into it really, really nicely. So we get some decent coins, but check the value of every single card that you get, okay? Now, the important thing to think about when it comes down to Bronze Pack Method is how much do you guys need to spend at a time? And this is the key thing. A lot of you guys ask me, how much do I spend? I have a basic rule that I tried to spend about 40,000 coins at a time. It's not always easy to keep up with that. So it's very difficult to be like, right, 40,000, 45, this is what I need to spend. So the really good way of knowing when to stop opening packs up is when you start to get a lot of duplicates because that's when it starts to get pointless because either you're going to start discarding those cards or your transfer pile is full. So that's how I go about doing it. I'd say to you guys, wait till your transfer pile is full. Stop opening at that point, okay? Now some of these guys, like I say, random guards, he sells for like 350, fine, easy. Stop opening them up once you get to the point where your transfer pile is full. There's no point continuing to open them up in any way, shape or form. Um, you may as well... Let the card sell, clear your transfer pile off and continue, okay? Right, once you've done that, you've got to think about what you're going to do with the cards that don't sell. So you open up bronze packs and it is next to impossible right now to make a loss. There's so much stuff selling that you can get pretty much guarantee you're going to make profit, okay? Then you have a choice as to what you do. It really, really is your choice. You can do multiple things with the bronze cards that don't sell. One thing you should always make use of is the daily bronze and silver upgrades. These upgrades here, they're useful to get stuff from, um, just as a random, because you may as well do it. There's one as well that gives you tradable cards, use that. It's really, really simplistic, really, really easy. But you can choose where to put your stuff. You can go premium bronze upgrade into the silver upgrade, and then you can put them into the winter wild card crafting upgrade. You can hold them and you can put them into whatever upgrade pack we get on Monday potentially. Or you can do League SPC method and that would be my preferred way for you guys to do things, okay? By opening up these packs, you're going to get yourself players, especially from the Mixed League upgrade, from all of these places, okay? You're going to get them from the MLS and the FL Championship, although the rating on that SPC is a bit high. But you're going to get them from League 2 and La Liga Hypermotion. You're definitely going to get them from Serie B and Bundesliga. And you're definitely going to get them from the Libertadores and Sudamericana. You could pretty much complete half at least of this SBC by doing BPM and using those cards that you got for free. Then on the other side of that, you're going to need to spend maybe 4 or 5k to complete it in its entirety. Now you're going to get a small prime silver players pack. You'll be able to sell everything in that. You're going to get a gold pack. You'll be able to sell everything in that. It basically means that you're getting 5 packs for free every single time you do this SBC. So by doing BPM, you'll probably be able to complete this for free 5, 6, 7 times. These packs here are all a bit meh, don't get me wrong, but you do get a small rare gold players pack at the end of it. You could put that by for Team of the Year if you wanted to, uh, realistically, or you could put that, open it up and get some fodder for whatever uh, SBC it is you want to do. I will go into massive detail, a video directly on how BPM into Mixed League Upgrade, into the Premium Mixed League Upgrade works. I'll bring that on in the next couple of days for you guys. But that's what I would be doing personally as, as a basic level. If you can't be asked to win a wildcard crafting upgrade, is perfectly fine. That's There's nothing wrong with that. You've got 11 days to hammer the crap out of that while the bronze cards are so expensive. But it's, it shows you the value of opening up bronze packs. It, there is so much value in doing it. And you might not see the profit back immediately when the evolutions are quiet or whatever. Once the evolutions kick up, you can just go and search for your club and just check and see. I think I've cleared out some of mine earlier on the stream, but we'll have a little look and see if there is anything else. Quality, we'll just go position centre back and just have a little look and see if there's anything that's got value. Um, we're going to do bronze, basically. See if there's anything that's got value. We're looking for, like, random guys. Probably most of this isn't going to have any value because we've already looked, but you never do know. There was, sometimes there was always a chance there's going to be a bit of value in there. Guess there, there, there's a bit of value there. There you go. Uh, again, probably not masses, but we're looking at, like, maybe 1,800 coins on him, which is pretty decent. You can just flick through every now and then and you'll find some cards, you'll find some coins that you didn't realise were in your club. Um, and it becomes really, really easy to to make some coins back from doing this. I mean, that's probably a little bit of coins there. I don't think there's much more because I did look already earlier on. Gibson, he's untradeable anyway. I don't think any of these guys are expensive. Calva. So I want to see if there's any random, like, decent leagues where these cards could be expensive. I don't think someone like him is going to be expensive even though he fits a decent amount into it. Anyone else that I feel like could be Ortiz? You've got a decent pace to start with. Nice, no, see, Dad. But yeah, you flick through basically and you see what's got value and what doesn't have value, and you'll find very, very quickly there's a lot of stuff you didn't realise that was expensive that is now expensive. Okay? It's really, really simple. That's BPM right now in a nutshell. Everything is selling. It's ridiculous. Like, I've just done it for 20 minutes and packed all that stuff. It's ridiculous. 
If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Like I say, check out Foot Trading. It supports this content, but more than anything, it will mean that you guys will make millions of coins. We guarantee it. We've got guys that are well into double figures in terms of millions at the moment. It's incredible. And you'll get the grinding areas, the areas of the website that I do handwrite with how to make any pack, basically, craft any SBC. It's really, really awesome. But that's the end of the video. I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.